This is a metropolitan community church oasis. We are called Valentine's Hall. We practice an experimental liturgy. We try and include everything and everyone that we can. We are genuinely inclusive. I hope that you find what we do interesting and embracing. I've always been aware of Reverend Perry, someone who gives to the community, someone who's an openly gay clergyman. He treats everybody equally. He is one of the stalwarts of the LGBTQ plus movement, going back to the GLF, the Gay Liberation Front. He's been at it for half a century now. Let me check with you, so it's down here. Yeah, that's where it starts. What makes us different, I hope, is not only the advanced outlook we have, but also the fact we focus on love and wisdom. The first feeling you get in this hall is that it really is all about love and welcoming. And that really makes it live up to its name. If there was ever a time that we needed to enlighten and enlarge our boundaries as a society and a culture, maybe this is it. Would you bow your heads, please, as I wish you the formal greeting. May the Lord be with you. We have a shared communion. So we've got pagans, we've got Hindus, Muslims and Jews who take part in our service of worship. And I don't think that happens in other places. Through Jesus Christ. The church didn't accept gay people until more recently. And the mosque has still got a long way to go, they still don't. So that's what I'm fighting towards. And I learn when I'm here with Reverend Perry, I look at how he does things. And maybe I can take something from that. You may be a person of faith or no faith, you are welcome at this table because you are our brothers and sisters in the faith that believes this world can become a better place. I mean, we're struggling for survival. We've been devastated by two lockdowns. We've lost some people. I put some of my own money into it, but this was an income stream for me too. By a wing and a prayer, we're trying to keep going and we're hoping that people at least come and visit us before maybe we ascend as an idea to glory, but I'm hoping we can keep going. Giver of life, heal us and free us to be fully, completely and lovingly human. The gospel means good news. I bet hardly anybody remembers that. Why is it good news? Because it's all about love and wisdom and truth and being human. Everybody just does their own thing in Valentine's Hall and that's just the way we like it. <laughs>